Here's how the Catholic Church fulfills the prophecy of Daniel 7.25, that it would think to change God's times and laws. There's only one commandment that deals with time. It's the Sabbath commandment, which commands us to remember a specific period of time for worshiping God. Now notice what Reverend Peter Geierman says in the Converts Catechism of Catholic Doctrine, page 50. Question. Which is the Sabbath day? Answer. Saturday is the Sabbath day. Question. Why do we observe Sunday instead of Saturday? Answer. We observe Sunday instead of Saturday because the Catholic Church transferred the solemnity from Saturday to Sunday. Notice, it was not God that changed the day, it was the Catholic Church, falsely teaching they have the power to change the times and laws of God. Listen to what Priest Brady said in an address reported in the Elizabeth, New Jersey News on March 18, 1903. It is well to remind the Presbyterians, Baptists, Methodists, and all other Christians that the Bible does not support them anywhere in their observance of Sunday. Sunday is an institution of the Roman Catholic Church, and those who observe the day observe a commandment of the Catholic Church. The words Jesus spoke in Matthew 15, 9 are quite fitting here. Jesus said, But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. Albert Smith, Chancellor of the Archdiocese of Baltimore, replying for the Cardinal in a letter dated February 10, 1920, said, If Protestants would follow the Bible, they would worship God on the Sabbath day. In keeping the Sunday, they are following a law of the Catholic Church. Here's a quote from Monsignor Louis Segur in Plain Talk about the Protestantism of today, page 213. The observance of Sunday by the Protestants is homage they pay, in spite of themselves, to the authority of the Catholic Church. In other words, no matter what denomination you are, if you keep Sunday, you are giving your allegiance to the authority of the Catholic Church instead of giving your allegiance to God. How about this Catholic quote? Perhaps the boldest thing, the most revolutionary change the Church ever did, happened in the first century. The Holy Day, the Sabbath, was changed from Saturday to Sunday. The Day of the Lord was chosen not from any directions noted in the Scriptures, but from the Church's sense of its own power. People who think that the Scriptures should be the sole authority should logically become Seventh-day Adventists and keep Saturday holy. This was written in the Sentinel, Pastor's Page, St. Catherine Catholic Church, Algonac, Michigan, May 21, 1995. Do you want to keep Sunday and pay homage to the Catholic Church, or do you want to follow God and remember the Sabbath day as He commanded? The choice should be clear, and I pray you choose to follow Jesus and worship Him on His holy Seventh-day Sabbath, which always has been, and always will be, Saturday. God rested on the seventh day of creation, not because He was tired, but as an example for His people to follow. Jesus said in Mark 2, 27, the Sabbath was made for man. Notice, He did not say it was made for the Jews. Abraham is the father of the Jewish nation, but Abraham was born some 2,500 years after the Sabbath was given to man in creation. Therefore, the seventh-day Sabbath was given to man 2,500 years before the Jewish nation ever existed. Jesus and his disciples kept the seventh-day Sabbath, and no man on earth has the authority to change God's law. It was written by God himself on tables of stone. Hebrews 4, 1-11 says the seventh-day Sabbath still remains today. It also says we should enter into that Sabbath rest, lest we fall because of unbelief. Read Hebrews 4, 1-11 through 11 for yourself. In addition, Isaiah 66, 22 and 23 says the Sabbath will be kept in heaven and on the earth made new, which is exactly what you would expect to see, because God never changed the day. In our next segment, you'll learn another astonishing way the Catholic Church has thought to change God's holy law. To learn more, email stmedia.co at gmail.com with your name and address for the free book, The Great Controversy Between Christ and Satan, available within the continental United States while supplies last. Outside the continental U.S., we'll send you the book in PDF format. That address again is stmedia.co at gmail.com. One final note, 
Please do not request this book if you already have a copy in your home. Thank you, and God bless you.